This is Dr. Thomas Mountain Four, one of God's most unique and dynamic prophetic voices to the 21st century church today. Multitudes across all six continents have been impacted by God's word, presence and power through his miracle revivals, conferences and television appearances. Through his ministry, the Holy Spirit has lit new fires of revival and reformation in many cities. God has also had him speak profound prophetic utterances to cities, states, regions and nations and to more than 50,000 individuals personally one by one across 22 nations. His revelatory teachings in books and DVDs have deeply touched the lives of many and are becoming best sellers. He travels the globe releasing God's prophetic fire and investing time developing leaders and people from all walks of life. Let's clap those hands for Jesus one big time. Come on, give Jesus a praise. Somebody give Jesus a praise. Someone open your mouth and shout, Jesus! You are my Lord. Hallelujah. Lift your hands up. I pray the Holy Ghost. It's going to come. Oh, oh, wow, wow. Hey, right there. You felt that? You felt that? I felt it all down. You shoot down my, like, fire. That's why God loves us so much. That's why our job and our function in the, in the earth is so important. Without us, believe me, the church cannot function. Ephesians 4.11 said, he gave first apostles, secondarily prophets. He gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to raise the people up. The prophetic voice is very powerful. And Ephesians 2.20, do you love the word of God? Can you lift your hands up? I'm not going to pray for you right now. We're going to pray for you later. But I want to teach you for a couple of minutes. Is that okay? Are you ready? Come on, let's put your other hat on. Switch your, put your hand on your head and say, Lord, open my mind to receive your truth and your word. Yes. You up there in the heavenly places. You too. I see you up there. God bless you. I love you. <laughs> heavenly places. Ephesians 2.20 says, The foundation of the church is built on the apostles and prophets, of which Jesus Christ is the chief cornerstone. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 1, he said, I will stand my watch to see, to wait and to listen to see what he will say to me. That's very powerful because if you don't have the direction of God, then your life is just spinning around. How many have ever felt like that? Your life is just going in circles. Come on, lift your hand, be honest. How many felt like that? Your life is just not going in the course very fast. That it should be going in. Let me see your hand. Come on. Lift your hand up. Some we need to repent because we didn't listen to God enough. But I tell you, the Lord wants to come like lightning to speak and push you in his direction. Because you know what? Everything that he touches prospers. Lift your hands. If he touches you enough, you prosper. If he touches the path you're walking on, the path you're walking on begins to prosper. But you got to first hear God. By his voice, he created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning was the word, John 1 said, and the word was with God, the word was God, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And it says in verse 12, to as many, he said, without him nothing was made that was made. And in verse 12 says, to as many as received him, he gave power to become the sons of God. And the Bible says, my friend, the Bible says that the earth is waiting for the manifestation of the sons. You're a son, you're a daughter, truly lift your hands up to God. There's a maturing anointing for maturity, for breakthrough, a new season. I said it before, I'll say it again. You have to get it in your mind first before you can get it in your life. And this is where the prophetic anointing is so important. You cannot do what you cannot see. What you cannot see, you will not say, and what you do not say, you will not see. But if you don't see it first, you can't say it first, 
but then if you don't say it, you also won't see it. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Am I talking? What's in your heart will come out. If it's, if it's full of complaint and frustration, you're in the wrong place or the wrong people are around you. Lift your hands. I want to prophesy right now. Every wrong person, every wrong association, every wrong connection, every wrong alignment, every wrong environment and atmosphere, I break it in Jesus' name. Let the glory of God come in and the anointed people, the destiny helpers, the agents of change, not the agents of the devil, not the agents of Satan, not the agents of frustration, but the agents of glory are coming to you. Lift your hands and say, I receive it. When God wants to bless you, he sends a good person into your life. When the devil wants to curse you, he sends the wrong person into your life. And you got to weigh it in your spirit. Who's who and who's around you? The prophetic anointing will open your eyes. Lift your hands. I want to pray that you all receive this anointing too tonight. That your eyes will come open, my God. Your eyes will come open to see things the way they really are. We don't need to have a fantasy real as reality. We need to have a reality check and look at your life. I was teaching on that Sunday at uh, our brother's church, Pastor Hendricks, and, uh, and the Lord was saying that you need to take an accurate assessment of your life. Lift your hands up and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And say, Lord, let heaven take snapshots of me. Heaven, take snapshots. Take a video of me. Look into my heart. See if I'm right. If you can't make a self-assessment and let God assess you, he can't prove you to be qualified yet. And there's a level that comes when God wants to mature you to make you a real son and a real daughter. How many know what I'm talking about? It's not enough for you to just be struggling, frustrated, coming, you know, running around, looking for a miracle, looking for somebody to help you. But I tell you, the Lord spoke to me again right now. He just said, you know, tell the people, listen, lift your hands. God is going to situate your life, set up the foundation stones for you, set the platform for you. You know, you have a business or two or three and that's just, the, and there's something else you thought of, Mama, and there's something else you thought of after that. The Lord says he has like a dozen or more. And you'll have to build a company. Come on. Oh, this little baby, he's going to inherit a lot of wealth. He's already rich. Look, he already looks like a prince, doesn't he? You see the baby here? You're going to have companies, like, you know, with people. Like, you think Richard Branson or Donald Trump, when they birth another company, they go sit there in the chair and micromanage everybody. No, they can't. They don't have time. They don't have time. They've built a system that then works for them. God has given it to you. Lift your hands, son and daughter of God. With that system of many people to build this thing as a wealth generator for the earth. Wise people. I have a friend that became so wealthy, he's now going to ordain a CEO in place of himself because he wants to move into another phase. How do you give your own company away? Most people wouldn't do that. It has to be settled. He has to be at the level that you set everything up. Now, that guy can just run it with the parameters that are put on him. God's going to give you that kind of wisdom. Lift your hands. As it's flowing here on the platform, so it's coming to you. And I want to tell you, every enemy, someone say, my enemy, that set the rope for me, you will hang on it yourself. Those of you that have dealt treacherously toward me, treachery is coming to you. That's all from Bible's verses where God said that. And he said, sometimes you don't even have to fight yourself. You just have to... Uh, let him fight for you because he said, I will bring my vengeance and I will repay. Lift your hands. Sometimes you don't have to fight. You just have to, you have to sweat more in his presence. The Bible says in James 4, 7, submit yourself therefore unto God. 
That's the first part. And then resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Sometimes that devil that you think is in the air is not always your enemy. Sometimes there's somebody close to you that's stopping your progress. Lift your hands. I prophesy. Watch this miracle. Some of you can testify about it. Yeah, get on your feet if you want to. It's all right. God is going to send angels to chase the wrong people away from you. <laughs> Esther chapter 4, Mordecai saw the thing that Haman was trying to do and was very disturbed, but the king found out about it. And then the same rope that he made for Mordecai, the king says, let Haman hang on that rope. You don't have to worry about your enemy. What you have to worry about more is that you're in the will of God. And his voice will open up things to you. He created the, the garden with his voice. He created the world with his voice, but he first thought about it. God thought about what he wanted to do. This is prophetic now. And then he planned it out in his mind, in his imagination. And then he spoke it, and then it was. Are you seeing that? Now, unless you have in your heart the direction from the boss. How many know who the boss is? My boss is very brilliant. <laughs> He's the most brilliant. Do you know I don't work for anybody? People work for me, but I don't work for anybody. Nobody can tell me what to do. I'm the boss of everything. I like to have people that are smarter than me, though, because I don't know everything. So I also need friends you know, who can help me. You know what I mean? I need people that are. But I, everything I do in my own world is my own decision. That's why sometimes I come, I'm like, hey, where's that? Where's that? Where are you? What are you doing? Put that there. Because I know, because I'm the leader. That's how God was. So that's how you need to be. Lift your hands. Don't let anybody stand over you. Joshua 1.3 said, as, as long as you live, Joshua, you will not let, see anybody standing in front of you. No man shall stand before you. And Psalm 108 says, don't always look for the help of man. Sometimes it's useless. But the help of God is always there. How many know he's the boss? Lift your hands and worship him for a minute. Worship him. Pray in the Holy Ghost for a minute right now. This message I have is so long. I want to call this supernatural operations of the prophetic office. The office of the prophet. I want to, I'm writing all the books on this. This is just a few minutes here. I'm just giving you an exhortation. I don't have time to teach this thing. But I tell you, the voice of the Lord is so powerful. Psalm 29 talks about the power of the voice of the Lord, stronger than earthquakes, stronger than lightning, stronger than mountains, strong, stronger than many waters, stronger than death, stronger than life, stronger than anything. The voice is what gives life. And if you're saying the wrong thing, how can you expect to progress? I'll tell you one thing, I, th I keep feeling it recurring. Lift your hands, perfect atmosphere, perfect environment. Mama, the Lord spoke to me. He said, your environment will either pollute you or promote you, depending on what it is and who it is. He says, son, I want you to tell my people, I've told them all over the world on all six continents, your environment will either pollute you, pollute, corrupt, or promote you, depending on what it is. Some of you, within a few days, I want to prophesy, God is going to begin to already have brought out the wrong people and the wrong environment situations, <laughs> and he's going to begin to connect you with more brilliant people than you ever could imagine, and you need them. Hallelujah! You need them as a bridge to cross over troubled water onto the other side. You need to go where you've been back here, across that muddy water, over the troubled water, over the Jordan, over, the, over to the Canaan land, over to the promised land. And you can't get there with the wrong people, the wrong things in your mind. Lift your hands. I want to pray a mental deliverance. Every demon, every wrong thought, every cloud, every adverse situation, everything that's been in the minds of your people, Lord, that has kept them from your best, take it out. And there's one other thing the Lord spoke to me yesterday. Many things I don't have time to say even all that I heard. He told me, break the spirit of rejection. Lift your hands. Some of you have been rejected, you feel rejected. 
Some of you are great, you look great in the limelight. You look great when you show up at work, you look okay. But when you go home, you sink back into a semi-depression and a kind of, your mind begins to get troubled, I know. I felt that demon, I felt that demon. I tell you, God's gonna destroy that thing. Confidence, listen to me, confidence and boldness and identity in the glory of God that you're a king and a queen. You're a man, shout I'm a king. You're a woman, shout I'm a queen, come on. That's your status, don't ever go below that. And when that devil tries to come and torment your mind, say you're so unorganized, you can't make it. Look at, you wonder what people think and all that. All these little things are demonic. Lift your hands, I wanna, I'm breaking that thing tonight. Some people you can't attract what you want because you don't have the stature. You don't carry yourself as well as you should. Can I tell you, man looks on the outer appearance, but God looks on the heart. But man does look on the outer appearance. You gotta package yourself the way you're going. Are you listening to God's prophet here? You gotta package yourself the way you're going. You gotta dress yourself up for success. Lord, by the Holy Ghost, all over this building, from the top three levels, balcony, middle section, ground floor, lower level, outside, all over this place. Those watching by video, wherever you are, that thing that disorganizes your, men your mentality and your thinking, that thing that makes you feel small, that thing that makes you feel inferior. I wanna to prophesy to you, you're not inferior to anybody. You're an offspring of Jehovah. God's own DNA is in you, baby. God's own glory is in you, my friend. God's own glory, king and queen, son, daughter. God's own glory is in you. And you're gonna walk in that. When you wake up, you're gonna say, I'm a king. You know, you know, a couple of days ago, we went to a certain home that's more elegant than anything you can imagine. And I looked and I saw the reflection of the man's mind in, his, in how he is because he thinks like that. Huh? Lift your hands. And some of you just go back to a small place. You got to get tired of it tonight. How many of you follow my instruction? Tonight when you get home, if you don't like the residence you're living in, prophesy, prophesy, take my word, echo my word. The Bible talks about the voice and then the echo. Amos 3. Seven says, surely I'll do nothing except I first reveal my secret to my servant, the prophet. And he said that a lion has roared in the city, who will not fear? And the Lord has spoken, who then can but prophesy? In other words, when the prophetic voice has gone forward, he expects the people to hear it and then echo that thing. You're going to be my echo tonight. Come on. I'm talking to the place where you live. If you're not driving the car you want, lift your hands up. God's going to get a vehicle. Hallelujah. The Lord said there'll be more parking for cars here at this house. There'll be more land. They're going to pave the roads. I, I declare it. And the people are going to get so blessed. You're going to be driving up in what you want. You're going to be going home to the house you want. You're going to be living. You're going to be in your own office where you want. God, I tell you, within 30 days, listen to me, God's going to set your world on fire and set fire to the camps of the enemy. Whatever they try to do to keep you bound and keep you back and keep you stuck and keep you hindered and keep you from rising, God is going to break that stuff out of your way. And the Lord said to me, tell the people I'm birthing companies. Two to three hundred new companies in this house. Come on, somebody. Your own business enterprise. And God's going to amplify your voice. Tonight, there's a prophetic action that's going to happen at this altar. I want you to wait a minute. Something's going to happen in just a couple of minutes from now. And the Lord is going to give you an opportunity to help amplify your voice. When you amplify the prophet, when you touch the prophetic mantle, when you touch that thing, God will advertise you, he'll promote you, he'll put you out there, he'll give you stuff you never had before. He'll help you with your marketing and your administration and amplify you. Lift your hands, entrepreneurs being birthed. I see two to 300 new companies. You're gonna register. This thing will go on after I've gone on to other cities. It'll stay in this place, it'll keep going. People are gonna walk into this atmosphere and something's gonna hit you and say, well, I'm leaving something here tonight from the glory of God. Lift your hands. If you're employed, you need to stay employed and work your business on the side until it gets so good that you can leave your employment. 
Don't go broke because you decided to go by faith. Use wisdom. Stay where you are, but let, let your evenings and the time off be spent working on building the dream that you have. And get it going. Amen. Give life to it. Let it happen. Come on, somebody. Begin to let it start to walk and work when it has an expression and a life of its own. Now you see it's something to dive fully into. But I tell you, I release right now the voice of the Lord in this place. You're going to hear. You're going to know exactly what it is. You're going to know why he had you born. You're going to hear his voice. You're going to hear him talk to you and direct your paths. In Jesus' name, by the voice under this prophetic mantle, in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a hand of praise. messages available on DVDs are Benefits of Kingdom Excellence, Glory Carriers, Kill the Middleman, Laws of Success, Crossover, God's Path to Promotion, Prophecy Vision Cast for Kenya, Attributes, Functions, and Leadership of the Holy Spirit, among others. Miss One, Miss Blessings.